You know, and one thing, uh, you know, for your child to think about is, you know, the impact it can have in terms of developing anxiety. So we wanted to bring in Brian Baxter of Baxter Sports Psychology to talk about really how parents can become, I guess, their child's best fan, Brian, and be <laughs> helpful and supporting instead of pressuring the yeah. child. So what sort of advice do you have right off the top after hearing what Laura was saying about multiple sports? Right off the bat for parents? Um, well, yeah, as you said, parents are the best. They're the first line of defense, the first line of support for their kids. So um, education, you know, parents really need to educate themselves outside of just what the organization that their kids play for want out of them. So they need to look outside of just their own circle and, you know, read articles, watch shows like this that, and really educate themselves about new sports in general. You know, as, as a parent, I, I want my daughter to have fun, but I also want her to learn th the value of really focusing and working hard on something. Mm -hmm. And I struggle, our daughter ice skates, and I, and I mm -hmm. struggle sometimes believing that my daughter doesn't really understand what I'm talking about when I say, this is your time. It's, I want you to have fun, but you've got to focus. And learning mm -hmm. to excel is also a trait that I want you to learn. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, but then I worry, am I pushing my daughter too hard yeah. at the same time? And I guess it brings yeah. about the question, what are the words to use? Before your child has a game, you sense <laughs> they're anxious, what words can you use? Right, so um, anxiety before, before performance is, is universal, like all sports, all, and even us as, as grown-ups. Um, as far as talking to your kids, when they're anxious beforehand, let them know that's okay. If someone's anxious, they, that means they really care. Someone who didn't care what they were, how their performance yeah. was going to be wouldn't get, be anxious at all. So anxiety is a good thing. It usually goes away once the activity gets started. Um, anxiety is also, it's mental, it's emotional, it's also physiological. So they might experience butterflies in the stomach and tension. Which is adrenaline producing, which can help you succeed. Yeah. Exactly. So um, talking to your kids, it's, you know, let them know to breathe. Um, breathing is a good way to reduce anxiety and also just be, just... It's less about what you say and more about the tone. If you are instilling confidence and you let them know how, by the way you're talking, that you have confidence in what they're going to do, that's going to be the, the best thing you can do. You know, once a competition or a game ends, do you use the same words after a victory as you do after a defeat? You know, that car ride home? I usually do. I usually, on you the car do. ride home. Oh, I failed that. <laughs> I, <laughs> I said usually. <laughs> um, Usually I just let them know it was fun. I, I enjoyed watching them play. I try not to talk too much about the win or the loss until they bring it up. Um, I don't want to be the one that's, that's starting that conversation. I want to let the emotional, the adrenaline you spoke of earlier, I want to let that dissipate a little bit in them and also me. And, and I know you were a sports parent. It sounds like you are too. Yeah. We experience the same amount of emotions that they do. It's different, but... Oh, it's worse being a parent than a child. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you. So if we're trying to speak with them at that high emotional level and they're still on their high emotional level processing, it's, it's not usually going to work. So I like to let that dissipate a little bit before the conversation really gets into it. See, we don't want to get our act too much together because then we'll put Brian out of business. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> true. I don't think there's any that's danger true. in that. <laughs> <I can tell you. laughs>